Thanks. Okay, we'll start with Dan Sheldon at The Athletic. Thank you, Jordan. Ralph, you can't be considering walking away after that, can you, surely? Yeah, I'm very proud today. We saw a fantastic game. Um, and uh, coming back twice today uh, means a lot to the players, to me, and shows uh, what develop, uh, how we developed our game. And uh, I mean, when you score a goal, like the second one with 23 passes before, and then against this team, it is, it is good. It is simply good. It was a fantastic performance today. Can you sum up kind of blow by blow your emotions on the touchline? There were times I thought you were ready to walk down the tunnel in, 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 in kind of just being upset. And then I thought you were coming on as a sub at one point when you ran on the pitch. It's <laughs> yeah, but this is a nice thing in football. Huh? This is why we love this job. This is why we love the game. Because we see here uh, ups and downs and you can see it then in the end and in the overtime another goal. And then, to be, but to be honest, I was, I was like, okay, we take a point. It's also good. <laughs> I was not really one minute disappointed about it because I thought, okay. Uh, unbelievable match today, really. Uh, the way we played in the first half, I must say, was really one of the best I've seen from this team so far. We have played them around, uh, had uh, in possession, super solutions, scored, uh, had chances to score, very good chances. Must normally make two, three goals in the first half, made one. And then you concede a goal after, yeah, uh, for me, a foul on the middle line. Uh, he didn't give it. Uh, first half, we had a penalty situation where he didn't give it. The good thing is that this was not decisive today. Uh, for me, uh, the key of, of, of these three points was that we, we are, after this second goal we conceded, keep on playing and they step back a little bit like they always do when they're in the lead. And the good thing is that we have now solutions uh, and, 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 and the tools to score uh, even in, in, against good organized teams when they are sitting deep. And this is another step forward, I must say, and uh, very good to watch the delivery, very good to watch the run from Moy in the box and the equalizer and the second goal was nearly similar and this is fantastic to watch. You mentioned you're, you're impressed by how, how they kind of kept their cool after Spurs equalised and it was two all. In seasons gone by, we would have seen your team, they would have lost this game tonight after Spurs equalised. What, what's changed? What have you done to change the, the mentality in the team? Well, we have a few new players. Uh, we have uh, a few uh, new behaviours. Uh, we are more flexible tactically. We have more options on the bench. We keep, I made today 10 changes in the in the starting 11. Uh, this is the key when you have an, a week like we have now. And you can trust every player. And this is what we need to have. Eh? And, and this is easier than last season where we played with, or where we had eight academy players on the, on the bench. Eh? And today we have quality and we can, we can act. And uh, this is good for the manager, definitely. Thank you, Ralph. Okay, Thank Tom you. Leach. Even Ralph, congratulations. Thanks, Ralph. Um, can I just read you two stats quickly? 23 shots to their seven tonight and eight corners to their two. Where does this rank amongst the best performances you've seen from your side in the Premier League? Yeah, because I think we found a very good game plan today. Um, Against the back five, we were always a little bit struggling, creating chances. And today we tried a little bit different. It worked perfectly. Congrats to the analysts, to Richard, to, to everybody who was working with us. We had big discussions during the week in the black box, finding the right decisions. We were discussing about the position from the 10 and the strikers. And, and in the end, you could see that it worked definitely perfectly. And uh, the first half was fantastic. I had the right players in the right positions and then it's hard for them to 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 come on the ball and we, we could play them around and and waiting for the moment where we can create chances and this is good to see, really. You say right players in the right positions. I don't want to single players out, but can I just, just point to Roman Perot for a second? It seems like he's getting better and better. You've been patient with him, but is he now finally emerging as the player that you know he can be? Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean... Uh, this is the reason why we signed him. Uh, nobody's coming in this club and is immediately on the highest level. I think this is Premier League. They have to adapt. Some gets quicker, some take a little bit longer. Uh, but in the end, uh, uh, everybody has to learn. It has to be open-minded. And young players, we always speak about the heart empty, the, the, the empty hard disk. And it's on us to put the, the right stuff on it. And this is what we do. And uh, you can see that, that they learn quick and uh, perform well. You left your uh, you left your subs quite late today, so you've got a bench down there full of energy ahead of Saturday, so you can you can make changes there. 
how many changes do you think you want to make? I know you're not going to tell me that, but how are the boys looking in the dressing room? Are they feeling fit, ready for Saturday? To be honest, in the moment, I'm very empty. I have no idea. Uh, I'm not thinking about anything. I don't even know if I look at the game again now in the bus when we're driving home. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Really, okay, sorry. just, one, just one, one more from me then, Ralph. Um, you said in the week you can't see yourself being Roy Hodgson's age and doing this job, but the nights like this not make it all worth it. That must have been brilliant. Yeah, but you also saw how much energy it costs. Huh? <laughs> so, uh, that's the reason why I always speak about... But yeah, this are definitely. I, I've heard that it was my fifth fifth hundred game uh, mm. as a manager, and I definitely will never forget this. Uh, and these are the nice moments, definitely. Yes, enjoy it very much. Ralph, best luck for the future. Thanks a lot, Jeremy Langdon. Yeah, Ralph, uh, congratulations. How much confidence does this give you going to Manchester on Saturday? <laughs> At the moment, we are only tired and. Uh, but it's good to go with a positive result here. We had the last two games against Man City and Tottenham. And now we play against Man United. And it's, so far, we haven't lost. So, uh, I mean, this is fantastic. And yeah, we know that minimum the same quality of performance you need to, on, the, on Saturday. And we don't have a lot of time. They played yesterday. They have 24 hours longer time to recover than we have. And you know that this is super tough. The last season, we lost their 9-0. Uh, I don't forget this. <laughs> And just on James Ward-Prowse again, two sensational balls for the goals. I mean, what can you say? Yeah, we were very often speaking about the situation that we have to score in this moment. The key is the ball, how he delivers it, but the key is also the run, because when you park outside the box and, look and watch the, the ball flying in, then it is not dangerous. But when you attack the gap... And uh, you have uh, then this, the, the, the defender on the second post has a problem. Eh? And so this was uh, the reason why he scored. And just finally, some incredible scenes on the pitch at the end with the fans. Great support tonight. What would you say to the Saints fans who made that journey? Congrats that you have been here because uh, these are the moments you want to you wanna celebrate with, with your club and with your team. And uh, the, the, the enjoying was on both sides. Thank you. Okay, Dan Rose. Hi, Ralph. Congratulations. Thanks, lad. Um, just looking at that, obviously the guys have touched on, on the incidents in the game there the, with regards to the, the second goal for Spurs and everything like that. Your team obviously could have, obviously, your team could have could have obviously rolled over at that point, but they really took the game by the scruff of the neck and, and kept going and, and got their reward in the end, didn't they? Does that show how much you developed mentally as a side as well as on the on the tactical side of things? Also, yes, but this is normal because uh, mentally.